trace amount of rain officially at ILM Airport kicking off the month of February. That comes after we felt just shy of two and a half inches for the month of January. That's down for us about an inch and a third. But you'll no doubt note with some of these February numbers, stranger things have happened. In fact, the one day rainfall tally about three and a third inches, just a little bit above that. You got to go all the way back to 1998, which subsequently was the wettest February we have on record, just topping out near 11 and a quarter inches. Also had some substantial snow here for the month. Uh, a little over 11 inches. The one day tally You got to go all the way back to 1896 and 12 and a half inches of snow. The monthly record set back in 1973 85. The warmest day we had five degrees. The coldest temp we had back on Valentine's Day of 1899. Let's get into tonight though. Not quite that cold, but certainly cooler than we've seen the past few nights. Upper 30s and lower 40s. We'll keep those rain chances hovering around 40% and a little bit north of 50 come tomorrow. Speaking of 50, that's where we find our high temps projected toward upper 40s to at best some lower 50s, but it is going to be a struggle to get there, not just tomorrow, but the next couple of days as we have a reinforcing shot of cold air heading toward the weekend. Let's get you outside, shall we? Our West Shore Home First Alert Sky Cams, all eight locations on your screen, all eight locations featuring clouds and cool temps to go along with that as well. Just look at the change from six o'clock this morning, upper 50s, lower 60s to some spots surging into the mid 60s to even 70 and then the cold air sinking in. And that's basically where we find ourselves at this point. That front coming through, dropping temps in a big way and that cold air limiting temperature growth the next couple of days. So we've taken you from the past now to the future with those 40s converting back to 30s in some cases by daybreak tomorrow. Upper 30s, lower 40s likely we're going to be starting uh, most of the next couple of days, but cooler by the time we get to Friday and Saturday to near 50 and once again Friday morning, upper 30s, lower 40s. The wind's picking up a little bit too. So now we're having to deal with a bit of a wind chill in some cases feeling about five degrees cooler uh, than the actual posted air temps. Middle and upper 40s, some pockets near 50. You see a warmer wedge of air likely inland, perhaps a little cooler by the coast. So all in all the messaging keep the heavier coats around the next couple of days. Quiet from a Cape Fear perspective sands the clouds, but a few showers mainly up along the state line, and you'll notice this continual trail of moisture pushing through as we head through much of Thursday. A lot of that balance coming through late Thursday night and Friday. Look at some of the rain bands here. This could be supportive certainly of some rainfall tallies between now and Friday accumulating up above an inch plus, but we're dry come Saturday. The big change with that much cooler temps starting off in the mid 20s. So wind chill values John back in the teens, but look at that surge coming back to the 60s, even pushing 70 by Tuesday and Wednesday and a more settled pattern overall. Just a couple outside chances for showers. Back to you. All right, Gabe, thanks. Another round of severe winter weather is hitting parts of the south.